Crane itself is seven decades old. It was once a part of the restaurant. People would sit inside and eat, but now it just sits empty. A trip inside the McDonald's train at William S. Canning Boulevard is a trip back in time. But this famed piece of Fall River history is gearing up to take a trip outside the city limits. In a statement, the location's owner and operator Rich Hogan tells Eyewitness News the train at our Fall River location will be removed in 2018 as part of an upcoming restaurant remodel. Future plans for the train are still being determined at this point, but we hope the city or another interested party may find a home for it given the historical significance. Uh, that's a rail car that uh, traveled across uh, Chicago to the West Coast, to, to California, uh, and, and we'd like to do something with that car. That's the voice of Eric Moffitt, president of the Newport and Narragansett Bay Railroad Company. He says his company's plans to acquire the 1950s train are chugging right along. To see if, if we actually do acquire it, um, what the next steps are. The next steps would be to you know put it on a truck and, and move it to its uh, new, new location. The train came to Fall River in May of 1982 on a flatbed trailer. It's now considered one of the city's historical structures, which means its property owner needed to consult with the historical commission before making any moves. They contacted me and at that time I had indicated to them that the train itself was listed on our register. And that would have delayed the demolition process. So the commission moved to save a piece of its history instead of scrap. If it's relocated someplace close by, we could always go there and reuse it and understand and remember that it was a fixture in Fall River. And the company looking to buy the train is based out of Portsmouth and Newport. They say if they do get it, they're going to turn it into an ice cream train for the kids. But since it is such a big piece of history, each bowl and each cone will come with an education lesson. In Fall River, with the Mobile Newsroom, Caroline Goggin, Eyewitness News.